Hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 2, the Pixel Remaster version, and before I go into this teleporter, I think, alright, where's the blood sword? There it is. There we go. I feel I'm as ready as I'm going to be. So let's do this. So, those things. All right, it's all the way. <sighs> I thought I was near the end. But no. This game had to play another cool trick on me. But, Leon got some HP. Yeah, might as well heal up. Alright, I did alright. Firion got some HP. But let's go into the teleport again. And we should be at the end now. Yeah, but this game has more enemies for us to fight. Alright, and Leon's got some HP. And, and there's the Emperor. So yeah, let's, let's make sure everyone's healed up. Next time. Alright, I think it's time. Alright, Emperor, you're going down this time. We're sending you back to hell, empty-handed. Bring it! Because it's final boss time against the Emperor. I want to start with... I'm going to start with Wall. I want Maria to give Guy a Berserk. And should that not be enough? I'm gonna give Guy haste. Use those Hermy shoes I have for a long time. Wow, look at that! 9,999 damage. I don't think I needed the Hermy shoes at all. And Emperor has Flare 16. Alright. So I guess I need it Shell. Let's go with Flare 11. See what that does. 1,023 damage. That's... That's good. It would have taken me a lot of turns with... Flare if I weren't using the Blood Sword. And in two turns, the Emperor has been slain. And if I made some proper investment in everyone else's, well, in Leon and in Firion. I might have been able to do this in one turn, but yeah. Hopefully it goes like the election, where we beat the evil emperor not once, but twice. Well, we're the warriors of light. I 
think that's what we are, although there are no crystals in this game. Yeah, we sent the Emperor back to hell. And I got field research, professional, for completing 97% of the best, well, 100% of the bestiary. Yeah, it should finally be over, unless you're playing the GBA, PSP, well, or PSP versions, or the old iOS version, which isn't available anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, certainly was. But now, peace can finally come to the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... And... Yeah, this world's been taking its toll because of the Emperor and all his evil deeds. Well, but what matters is... We're free, and what was... What was once destroyed can be rebuilt. Yeah. Not just Scott, but Minwu, Joseph, and Ricard. Well. Well, it's not exactly the, the most honorable job you had, Paul. Uh, you might want to start going straight, Paul. Yeah, we sure did. Oh, fine. Uh, I don't think we'll we will be Layla, but we'll gladly take an offer to ride your chip if you want to. Uh, what next battle? Hey, Nelly. Well, your dad's been avenged. Oh. Well, hey, just saw Joseph right behind you. Hmm. And what? A yeah. It's finally over. The world's at peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you, Leon? Oh, well... I get it. You're talking about all the misties you've done as the Dark Knight. Yeah. I mean, we just went through a war and fought much of it against Leon. And there is likely some atrocities that Leon's committed that he's not proud of. Hopefully not on opposite sides. And of course we've got Minwoo, Joseph, Scott, and Ricard. If you're playing the GBA or PSP version, you'll likely be seeing them in the Souls of Rebirth portion. But the Pistol Marine Master, I don't think, has it. Their long struggle was finally at an end. The Emperor. Pandemonium. The monsters plaguing the world. All have vanished without a trace. Great, now I'm going to attack. Yeah, wait. Peace had returned once more. The wounds of the war would mend. And the memory of those bitter days would fade. But one thing would never be forgotten. That a band of young heroes once saved the world. Yeah, 
can. That's it for Final Fantasy 2. I know it's kind of seen as, well, the, well, the black sheep of the series, mainly because there's no traditional leveling up system. It's basically get hit and gain power. Hit enemy and gain power. And try and manipulate those systems to really power yourself really, really strongly. And I think some, if I remember right, I think some of the systems that were used in this game would later be used for the Saga series. I'm not 100% sure on that, but. Yeah, as is usual for old NES sequels. Well, for quite a bit of them, they would do more experimentation with their second game than, you know, going more direct and trying to improve on what they had. I would, if I'm right, with Mario 2 in Japan, it was a more difficult Mario 1, but over here, they basically reskin Doki Doki Panic. With Castlevania, they basically made what could kind of be an early experiment into Metroidvania style games. <sighs> With Final Fantasy, they experimented way quite a bit. I mean, the password system stat gains through your actions in battle. Hey, you want to bolster your weapon power? Attack with a weapon. You want to strengthen your magic? Use this magic. If you want to get obscenely overpowered, you've got some work to do. And I'm lucky and fortunate enough to figure out the weapon part. The magic part, I think I might have found something for attack magic, but... I would really add to work quite a bit to master master a lot of the spells in the game. <sighs> yeah, and if I remember right, the first time I beat this was was actually the GBA version. But I never did all that well with, well, with the Souls Rebirth portion of the game, or the bonus dungeons. But, I mean, I say I do enjoy this game. I feel like, well, I just feel like if you're the type of person who kind of views this as not a real Final Fantasy or something like that, at least try it. And as far as what I'll do next, I'm not sure yet. I mean, so far I've, I've gotten through four to... Well, for the pixel remasters, I still got two left. And it really... And... Also, my driver finally beat Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so... I do kind of want to try and go back and fight... And fight Gilgamesh in that version. But I don't know how much time it'll take. And... Uh, that might take some time. So, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your credits, and I really want to thank every single person who was involved in making the original, making the PS1 remake, making the GBA and PSP, and what was the iOS version before before Square Enix decided to take it down and give us the Pixel Remasters. <sighs> I'm 
gonna be honest with you, I'd rather play this one in 8. Or 13. I mean, there's something about that old, old school NES era charm. But also a Super Nintendo era charm. And, of course, the PlayStation 1 era charm. I don't know, it just makes you feel, feel all, all good inside. For the credits, and I also want to thank you viewers for sticking with me throughout all this. I mean, I'm not exactly a foremost expert like so many people are. I just hope that what I did helps you on your on your journey. And really, I just want to thank thank you for well, just give, giving me a chance and kind of stick sticking with it, even if my voice is terrible. And let's be honest, it is. I'll just be quiet until we get to final trophy. Finally get that platinum trophy. Alright, so I can actually save. 
All right. Got the star confirming completion. And there's the trophy for War's End. Defeat the Emperor and restore peace to the world. And Master of Two. That's the Platinum Trophy for getting all the trophies in the game. So that's two-thirds of the Pixel Remaster series Platinumed. Huh. I don't know what I'll do next. I'm trying to decide between the Pixel Remasters of 5 and 6. Also, I want to try and fight Gilgamesh in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Or maybe there's something else I should be playing. Whether it's current, retro, or somewhere in between. So, until the next playthrough, I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. But before that, let's check the best area entry for the Emperor. Yeah, it'll tell you how many times you defeat it, but it won't tell you anything else. Alright, I'll just cut it there. So, until the next playthrough. I want to thank each and every one... Each and every viewer for watching. I appreciate that you've put up with me for this long. I hope you have a good day. So, remember to be kind to others and treat others with love and respect. Thanks, everyone.